Hi there, I'm Coach Sage Kennedy of sagerunning.com. And I'm Coach Sadie Nightpaver. And today we're gonna talk about a little running form tip, running form cue, uh, that you could kind of build into your movement patterns when you think about how your form is when you're running. And again, with running form changes, like Sandy mentioned in her previous video on her channel, Running Wild to Believe, it takes a couple weeks to really implement these changes and to build in new good habits. You don't wanna be building in a bad habit, but uh, this is the cue that I think of, or that I've been thinking of for months and months, uh, to kind of help with my form, reduce the risk of injury hopefully, but also re increase your efficiency in long distance races. Let's get started. So for this video we call it the broomstick cue. Maybe you don't have a broomstick, you don't really need a stick, you might have a, a Swiffer or something like that, you might have a Nimbus 2000, I don't know. So the idea is you have a stick or an imaginary line coming out from about your knee height with your plant foot, right? And the motion cue that you want to be thinking of when you're running, uh, distance running, is that you're lifting up over, right? This foot is coming over uh, like that and swinging forward on the drive face. So it's the idea that you kind of have to lift up and over. And you know, another running form cue, of course, with this is the heel flick trick, right? Doing a drill where you're trying to kick your butt. Uh, but that's not, that's usually too extreme. That's more of a over exaggeration. If you were sprinting really fast, you'd have that high knee lift and that high knee drive, right? But in distance running, it's just better to get over, uh, over parallel to the ground, right? My legs at about that height as it's getting brought forward, right? So in the paw back action, and again, I've done a video on this with what we call the butt kick, the heel lift trick, right? Uh, and Sandy's gonna elaborate this more on this next video in her series that I'll link to at the end of this video. We'll also cue you up for that. Uh, is that you're basically creating a shorter lever with your leg, right? If you were just uh, swinging your leg forward and your knee wasn't very bent, it's hard to swing your whole leg forward when it's extended like this, right? If you're waddling along on the ground, uh, that's kind of a hard motion to swing, right? It's all about leverage. Whereas if your knee is bent more, you have a shorter distance between your butt and your heel, uh, this is a shorter lever, right? Shorter, more mass sense. There's more mass closer to your center mass. So it's easier to bring your leg forward faster, which means you could just run more efficiently and you could get into that next stride, which is the real propulsion to give you speed and increase your efficiency over distances. So to expand on what Coach Shade is saying, this forward knee drive is coming a lot from the back kick. So if you think about um, your running stride, so right here, actually like you're right around this position as my hips are coming over my foot, a lot of my muscles are contracting. And then my foot starts extending back. There's a storage of energy. And then finally, there's this release of energy. And that's what's helping drive my knee forward. All right, so this is an example of bad running form where I'm not lifting the knee up. It's too much of a passive, straight-legged stride, we'll call it. All right, so thanks for watching our running form tutorials. Again, check out Coach Shandy's video, uh, her channel, at Running Wild to Believe. Uh, we also have a playlist on here, uh, running form drills and tutorials. Uh, more coming your way as well. Uh, thank you, Coach Shandy, for demonstrating that and uh, something with individual running form. It's, uh, it's always a process. It's something, even as a professional sponsored athlete, uh, that we work on as well. As you talked about at the beginning, there is also another running form video on my channel you can check out with Coach Sage. So if you want to learn a little bit more, head over to my channel, Running Wild. Links in the description below as well as up there. Uh, check out our playlist, Running Form. And we do sell training plans that Coach Andy and I have both co-created on our website. Any service, any distance, sagerunning.com. Thanks again. See you next time.